I've taken a Boone and Crockett out of this this particular area right here. So definitely, I come and check this when I come into this unit. This is the first place I check. Spotted this buck here with three other bucks. He's nice and heavy. I can't tell how good he's prongs are and I can't really tell how heavy he is. I don't it's too far away. I just see he's not spindly. But I can barely see his tips of his ears and boy he's got a lot of horn above that. The only way to just come in here tomorrow morning is the sun's coming up and when the sun's up you really get a good look at him and if he's a good buck then then you make a plan on a stock. Getting too late tonight. Might be the bone we want. 16 and a half inches. Well, folks, I'm here on the top of my unit at 9,400 feet. This side of the road is my unit. This is the next unit over. And right here in the next unit, we've got two bucks. And both bucks are over 82. Either one of them would go Boone and Crockett. Many years ago, I hunted down the other side of here and took a really great buck that was 17 inches. And he was Boone and Crockett. And uh, this one buck here looks exactly like him. The other buck looks like the one that I passed on because he was shorter, heavier but shorter. I elected to take the 17 incher. So this is probably where those two bucks summered and then they peel off these creek drainages and go down to the desert during the winter. That's my luck. We got to keep going. We got to get in our back down this creek here. Maybe I'll find a good buck in my area. there in the middle of a flat, 550 yards. This is a tough place to hunt them. We gotta do, we're gonna go right through this little gully here. It might be low enough that we can do it. It's the only chance we have to get in. Try to get get within a little a little under 500 yards, and they saw me, and off they went. Gosh, there's a big buck in that bunch. Mike is getting a closer look at a buck we spotted earlier in the hunt. day of the hunt we got another buck we want to look at down over in a different part of the area so we'll go look at and see if we can't find him it's getting down there folks that's the way it is I'm just not going to shoot a buck it's gonna have to be a really you know a good trophy buck Mike has finally relocated the 16 inch buck he spotted the first night of the hunt the one looking at us for water, I believe. We'll ambush him here. 400 yards. He's in the middle walking broadside behind another buck. He's looking at us. Oh, 
They're running. There they go. Yeah, I hit him. Oh, he fell down in that gully right over there. Oh, right. Three hundred and fifty yards is a long ways for an old man. Holy smokes, folks! Look at this. Look at the mass on this buck, especially above the digger. Look at here. He's got over seven inches total circumferences between these two. I bet he's got a six inch prong. This buck is gonna be right around 85. This is a really great trophy uh, antelope. will probably go Boone and Crockett. This is probably one of the prettiest ones I've ever taken. He really hay hooks back. Glad you could come along with me on this DIY public land antelope hunt. And remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you next week on the Eastman's Hunting TV Show.